Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Excel beginners. In the last tutorial we had a look at the if function, a basic version of the if function and how you could get Excel to display useful information based on values in other cells. Essentially asking questions about information on the spreadsheet. And what I'm going to do here is show you how to extend the if function so you can ask more than one question within the same function. And I'm going to go back to this example we started with which is where we compared prices between suppliers and all it did really was just check to see if one was better value than the other and give us an answer in the best price column. Now some of you may have noticed there's an obvious problem with that. What if supplier A and supplier B are the same price and I'm going to give an example of what happens. If I click into the uh, the cell under supplier A for the first product and we change that to 74.99 press the enter key well, it says supplier B is still the best price, even though now that's not strictly true because supplier A has um, dropped its price to match. Now, the problem, or the reason that's happening, is simply that Excel is only checking if supplier A is less than supplier B. Any other outcome, it will put supplier B as a result. So it simply says, is 74.99 less than 74.99? And the answer is no, it's not. So the result supplier B goes into cell Z4. OK, so we need to modify the formula a little bit to make it work better for us. What I want to have happen is Excel to put the word tie in to Z4 if the prices are equal. So I'm going to modify the formula and make that happen. The first way I'm going to do it is simply by deleting the original F function from Z4. I'm going to start from scratch and we'll create it a new version of the if function and uh, you'll see how it all comes together. What I'll do after this is I'll, I'll edit an existing if function so you can see how to modify an existing one as well. Okay so step number one press equals it tells Excel we're going to do a formula or a function. Type if because that's the type of function we're doing open bracket and the first test I want to have happen is to check if those prices are equal. So I'm going to click on 74.99, or the price that's in X4, press equals, and click on the value in Y4. So that's my first question, is X4 the same as Y4? If that's true, what do I want to have happen? Well, type a comma first of all to separate the different arguments in the function, and I'm going to have the word tie appear. So again, between quotation marks because it's text, and type a comma again, now, what if those prices are not equal? What shall I do, or what shall I have happen? All I want to do is now is continue with my original function. Now here, what I do is type the word if again, open bracket, and from now on, it's as if I was simply creating the, the original function. So I click on the value in X4, type less than, click on the value in Y4, and a comma, and then here, obviously if it's true, supplier A will go in, comma again and if it's not true supplier B will go in. Now at the end we type two close parentheses and the reason for that is I've got two open ones earlier on. One for the, the first if question is x4 equal to y4 and I've got an open bracket as well for the is x4 less than y4 question. Okay so we have to have the close brackets or close parentheses matching the opening ones. Um, if that doesn't happen, error, uh, Excel will simply throw up an error message and ask you to correct it. So, um, error, uh, Excel is quite good at picking those uh, those problems up. So that is essentially the uh, the function. And I'm going to click on the little tick and see what we get. And it works because we get the word tie appearing now as the best price. And we can test that formula. So if I make supplier A more expensive, just add one penny to the price. Supplier B becomes the best value. And if I increase, increase the price on supplier B, 75.50, supplier A becomes the best value. And if supplier A decides to put their price up to match supplier B, again, we get a tie. OK, so that function works. OK, so in the next cell, what I want to do is edit the existing function, just to show you how to modify one that you already have. OK, so if we come back to the formula bar, we're now dealing with row 5. So the original one is, uh, is x5 less than y5? If true, supplier A. If false, supplier B. So I'm going to edit that. And what I'm going to do here 
is add at the beginning the new if function. So click just after the equal sign, type if, open bracket, click on x5, press equals, click on y5 in this case, comma to separate the parts of the, the function, quotation mark, word tie, close quotation, comma again. So <clears throat> what I have here is is it x5 equal y5 if true tie comma if not we continue with the original function okay and just to complete that at the end of the function I need to add on a close bracket so there we go now the reason we check for a tie at the beginning rather than at the end is that Excel will stop the function as soon as it finds something that's true so what it's going to do here is is ask is x5 less than y5 now if they're tied then it'll say well it's it's not supplier A because uh, supplier A is the same price and it'll put supplier B in and just end it will never it won't ever get to check if they're equal because it will already have decided the functions over because x5 is not less than y5 I hope that makes sense <laughs> Um, it makes more sense when you start using the functions, but basically you have to be careful when you're putting nested ifs together that you don't ask the questions in such a way that Excel never gets to check the second part of the question. So in this case I want to check if it's a tie first. If that's not true, Excel will then go on and check to see if one is less than the other and then put the appropriate result in. Okay, so if I click on the tick there to accept that, obviously we get supplier A as the best price we can make that or test that by putting £71.45 into the supplier A column and we get tie again. Okay, and I'm going to copy that uh, function down again as I did before. Just copy and paste across the gap. Continue copying down the cell there, all the cells. Okay, so now anywhere I go, so if we come down to the, uh, the software row and change the price of the software and supplier A so it matches, there we go, we get tie appearing. Um, so that seems to be working. So that is how to modify or update your function to ask several questions within one function. You can actually ask up to seven questions or do seven levels of a function uh, in, Win in Office 97, 2000 and up to XP. If you have Office 2007 you can ask up to 64 separate questions within a function. So all I can say is good luck with that if you do. <laughs> um, however, we will leave it uh, here for now. We'll come back to this example later on in the, the tutorial. But I uh, hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.